Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Steve and big things are happening. So much so that Christopher Ward actually sent me in a 12 Ti to review. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. I'm kind of a big deal. They asked me if I wanted to take a look at some of their pieces and I said, yes, for sure. Let me see the 12 because everyone is going crazy about the 12, the 12 Ti, the 12 X. I needed to get my hands on it. Now I am a big advocate on the Tissot PRX. So I want to see how this stacks up against the competition. These are in two uh, slightly different price categories. I would put Christopher Ward as like a tier or two above. You have a stainless steel case. I mean, this one is in titanium, but they have a stainless steel option. The integrated bracelet, the Gerald Genta design to it. So they are comparable in that sense. The 12 is just a better product when it comes to the finishing, the quality of the materials, the quality of the movement, but we will get into that during the review. Now, if you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. It really does help the channel. All right, let's go ahead and roll the intro and we'll get started with the video. Like I said in the intro, the 12 just seems to be like a better product overall. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to the dimensions of the 12. We have a case diameter of 40 millimeters, a lug to lug of 44.4 millimeters, but the end links do stick out a little bit. So the effective lug to lug is 52.5 millimeters, a thickness, or shall I say thinness of 9.1 millimeters. The 12 also comes with a Salita SW300, which is COSC certified. Mine is running at around plus three seconds per day. It comes with 100 meters of water resistance and weighs in at 88 grams. The watch also has X1 Superluminova on the hands and on the indices. So overall, the spec sheet seems to hit on every single marker. And one thing that surprised me was the weight of the watch. And that's because of the titanium that they use, the grade two titanium. And I always thought that titanium was a gimmick until I got in my Belcanto and I was like, wow, this feels really good. And then I got in the 12 and guys, it disappears on your wrist. It is basically like you're not even wearing a watch. Like right now, I can't even tell it's here. And I am a sucker for heavy watches. I do like having a little bit of heft on my wrist. But with this, it just disappears. It's like having a G-Shock on the wrist, but it's a full metal bracelet, full metal case. Uh, it's nuts. Titanium, uh, it's starting to win me over. I always thought it was a gimmick, but man, it is starting to win me over, especially when it comes to the 12. Now, taking a closer look at that dial, it's basically the twin flag Christopher Ward logo embossed into that dial. We have a bright emerald green in the center, and it fades to black towards the edge of the dial. Now, initially, I was not a fan of the dial texture. In press photos, it does seem to be a little bit distracting, and I'm not sure if it's because the dial color here is a little bit darker than what I've seen in the press images, but it seems a little bit more subdued in this green. And I don't know if it's just how the press images were with the macro lens and things like that. But now that I have the watch in my hand, I can see that the dial texture is not as aggressive as I thought it was going to be. We have brush and polished triangular indices that go around the dial. We have a minute track just beyond the indices. We have an applied Christopher Ward dual flag logo at the top and chronometer printed at the bottom. Swiss made on either side of the six o'clock indice, and we have a color matched date wheel at the six o'clock. We have sword style hour and minute hands and a needle style seconds hand. I'm looking down at the watch right now and the hands are perfectly proportioned. The hour hand is just touching the hour marker and it's perfect. I, I think they did a great job with the proportions, with the dimensions and the dial layout. Moving beyond the dial, we have a vertically brushed titanium case and a brushed and polished dodecagon bezel. Little Greek lesson for you, dodecagon, dodeca, dodeca, 12. There you go. We have crown guards that look to be screwed into the case and we have a signed screwed in crown, which by the way, unthreads and threads nicely. And when you wind it in the first position, it's not as smooth as my Seamaster, but it's also smoother than my Tudor. It's like in between, and that's thanks to the 
Salita SW300 movement on the inside. Moving down to the bracelet, we do continue with that vertical brushing, but the edges of the links are beveled and polished, which do give you that little extra bit of light play. And we also have screwed links for easy sizing. The 12 comes with a butterfly clasp that is signed Christopher Ward. I like how they have Christopher at the top and Ward at the bottom. I just find it visually pleasing for it to be balanced on either side of the clasp. It also comes with quick release spring bars and there are arrows that point to the quick release mechanism. I do like how they included quick release spring bars here because they do offer other straps that you can put onto this watch. It's just really user friendly when you wanna switch from the bracelet to the strap and vice versa. So kudos to Christopher Ward for including this on their watch. We have a screwed down case back that's actually held together by six hexagonal screws and we can see the custom Christopher Ward rotor on the Salita SW300. On the case back, we can also see Swiss made, a titanium, and 10 atmospheres. I used to be the biggest PRX fanboy too, but man, this is just a really good watch that doesn't really have that many faults either. Like it's almost perfect for an integrated style watch. The biggest downside is the butterfly clasp because it doesn't have a micro adjustment. So you have to wear it slightly looser. When Christopher Ward sent this in, they had it sized to my seven and a half inch wrist and it fits pretty good. I mean, I can't really complain. It's not like it's slipping all over the place. It's basically right where it needs to be. If it does get a little bit warmer, a little bit cooler, then yeah, I can see your wrist swelling and shrinking and giving you a little bit of play in the wrist. But how it's sitting right now, at least for me, it fits my wrist perfectly. Could they add a little bit of micro adjustment in the butterfly clasp or even use a different clasp entirely? Sure, but I prefer to have a butterfly clasp for that seamless look. Another negative I can see is that you might not be a fan of the intricate dial texture. So if you wanted something a little bit more simple like in the PRX quartz models, you're not gonna be able to find that here. And the last negative is that the watch is made out of titanium. I know I praised it earlier about being lightweight, but with it being titanium, it is a softer metal. And with it being a 100 meter sports watch, you're probably going to be doing a little bit more activities while wearing this piece. So that coupled with the softer metal, you may put a few more scratches and dings in this watch than you would if it was stainless steel. But like I said before, since it is lightweight, it actually is a pro for me. For my wrist, it is sized perfectly in terms of case diameter and in thickness. So that with the weight, this watch just disappears and it's basically like you're not even wearing a watch at all. And not to mention, we have multiple finishing styles. We have brushed, polished, and bead blasted finishes. A workhorse movement with a Salita SW300, 56 hours of power reserve, and a four hertz sweep. The next pro is the loom they have on this watch. And maybe I'm just used to my PRX, but the amount of loom they were able to pack on this watch is phenomenal. And it is the perfect amount for a 100 meter sports watch. And to top it all off, and this is what sold me on the Belcanto, is that Christopher Ward offers a five-year warranty. Now, it might not be that big of a deal with you know a three-handed watch like this, but for my Belcanto, with it being a little bit more complicated, those extra years of warranty actually mean something to me. And while I'm not expecting anything to go wrong with my watch in those five years, it's nice knowing that I can send the watch to Christopher Ward and have it repaired as needed. So if you are a big PRX fanboy like I am, you are not going to be disappointed at what the 12 has to offer. Titanium, great price point, amazing build quality, and a reputable brand. It's really hard not to be a fan of Christopher Ward at this point. Well, that's a review of the Christopher Ward 12 Ti. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. Let me know what you think of the 12 and is it going to replace your PRX? I really want to know how many people make that upgrade. I don't know if you guys knew this, but I've reviewed the PRX probably about 412 times. So I'm going to go ahead and post one of them right here. This is, You know what? I'll put the uh, emerald green PRX review right here just because, you know, green background. Aurora Green, Christopher Ward, uh, right here. PRX, Emerald, Emerald Green. I stutter a lot. I've been drinking as well, so. Watch it. Watch it. Go. Now.